Welcome to Graphic Arts with Miss Purcell and Greg Purcell. This week we're learning about a new artist named Keith Haring. Greg, you know what state Keith Haring was born in? Pennsylvania. That is correct. He was born in Kutztown, Pennsylvania, which is just about an hour and a half away from where we live. When Keith Haring grew up, he moved to New York City where he would make graffiti everywhere and he had a special kind of cartoon stick figure that he loved to draw. His work was called pop art. Greg, you know what the word pop is short for? Popular. That's right. Pop art is about popular everyday things. So like I said, Keith Haring liked to draw cartoon stick figures and he drew them doing all different kinds of things. Today we are going to draw a stick figure doing something that a lot of people have been doing during this stay at home order. What is it, Gray? Dog walking. <laughs> yes, we're gonna draw one of his stick figure people walking one of his famous dogs. You ready to get started? Yep. Let's show them what we need. We need a paper, pencil, eraser, marker, oh, oh permanent marker, and magic marker. Right, so we're gonna use a permanent marker to trace our uh, drawing and then we're gonna use magic marker to color. Again, you use whatever you have. If you don't have permanent marker and you're just gonna use a black magic marker, make sure you do the black last. We're gonna do the black first though since we're using permanent marker. Let's do this. Woo! I forgot to say when we were looking at what we needed, we do need a straight edge. So Gray's gonna use a ruler. I'm just gonna use the edge of a book. We're gonna make a horizon line where the sky meets the ground that goes straight across our paper. That's gonna be the first thing we do. It's a nice straight line right across. And that's the only thing we need the ruler for, or the straight edge. So the first thing we're gonna draw is we're gonna draw our dog. Now we have to make sure that when we draw the dog that it's actually on the ground. So the first shape we need to do is a rectangle that is above the line. This rectangle is horizontal. Good. Then we're gonna draw four legs. We're gonna draw one leg, watch me first, one leg at this side and it has to go over the line, one leg on this side, and then try to keep these equal distant, put two in the middle. So we have four legs all together. Next, we're gonna draw his tail. His tail is a straight line that comes up in the back of the rectangle. Then his ears are a letter M, so we're gonna start here at this corner. Come up, down, up, down letter M. Then he has a letter V, a sideways letter V right here for his mouth. Oops, a sideways letter V. Then he has three lines that come out from his mouth. One is horizontal, two are diagonal. Okay, now we're gonna draw the person behind him. So the person is a little bit tricky. First, we're gonna start with the head. So we need to make sure that there's some distance in between the person and the dog. We're gonna put a circle up top here. Then this arm is half of a square, so you're gonna come over and down and then you're gonna make a little line that comes off that's gonna be his hand. Right here, we're gonna come down for his body, down past the hand, and we're gonna make another half square. So we come over and down, and then we make another one of those little horizontal lines that's gonna be his foot. Now from here, this is not gonna be connected. We're gonna make it over here a little bit. I'm gonna make a diagonal line down and back. So it's like half a square, but it's on an angle. Mm -hmm. Hold on. It should be right here next to this. It's okay. So you just kind of start right here next to this. So right here, come here and then here. Good, so erase that one.
and then you have another little line that comes down and that's going to be his foot that goes to the ground because he's walking and then he has another arm that's going to come straight up from his head and then another little hand like this okay he has we're gonna put the the line for the leash is not actually gonna touch the man or the dog we're just gonna have a diagonal line that comes in between the two yep and then we're gonna have some motion lines he liked to have a lot of motion lines so we're gonna do three here three curved lines kind of looks like Wi-Fi Mm -hmm. Wi -fi, Wi -fi. We're going to have three lines here. We're going to put some lines here because this shows what? What's happening when we see the lines like this? Shows that he's doing what? Dancing? Yeah, he's like dancing or moving. So the lines show movement. And do the ones in the back there. One, two, three. Oh, right behind here that's right okay now we're gonna get our marker so make sure you get out your messy mats okay now you get out your permanent marker you have your messy mat down we are gonna trace around the dog but we're not gonna actually touch the dog at all so watch I'm gonna come around here I come over up over down over in over out down up over down over up over down up that's good all the way down good yep down up over down okay now at the mouth this is tricky we have to come out in out in because that shows his mouth that's right then we're gonna come up and you make that M higher than the actual M. Good. Now these bark lines, we're tracing around those to make rectangles. That's good. I'm coloring inside of them. Yep. We're going to trace the line that's in the background, but don't trace it through the leg just to you skip where the legs are. Go in between his legs. Whoops, sorry. We can cover that up right there. Good. You don't see that there. Okay. So now we will trace his leash. My marker is not very good. I'll have to go over it with yours later. Then we are going to trace our movement lines. Oops. I'm sorry, we're erasing all the pencil later, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not going to look how it looks without it. Mm -mm. Right. Okay, now the human is the trickiest part. We're going to start here at the head. Don't touch any of the lines that we drew. So we come around. Like that. But then right here, this is actually going to come across and come into there. So come around the head and stop there. Good. So now on this side of the head, we're going to come out, down, and then the hand is round. Then we're going to come up, over, down, over to the knee, all the way over past the knee, down, around the foot, up, over, around that knee, the foot is round, mine touches the ground, yeah, up, 
Now right here at this knee, we're gonna come in a curve up to right about here where his armpit would be. Okay, so now we're gonna come diagonal up next to his head. Got it. Then you come around for the hand and then straight down to his head. Okay, cool. Now we can put little dots all over the ground with the tip of our marker. This will show the grass we're walking the dog in. The next step is we have to erase all the pencil that we drew. So you take your eraser and you just go inside your animal and inside your person to erase all those pencil lines. So right here, I probably shouldn't have uh, traced that line with my marker before I trace the person. So may maybe you trace your person first before you do your background. I'll try to make it work though. Mine doesn't even touch. Your guy's really running, I think. So when you really run fast, you barely ever touch the ground. He's touching the ground with his toe and then he just jumps. Go. Okay, so we're going to use magic markers to color with. We used a permanent marker to trace. If you don't have a permanent marker and you're tracing with magic markers, do the black last. Don't do the black before you're coloring. So remember, when we color with marker, we trace around the edge of something. Trace around the edge, and then we mow the lawn. So you, and this way, you'll keep yourself from going out of the lines. So trace around and then do nice straight lines when you're mowing the lawn. Ready for the big reveal? Yep. Ready? Ta-da! So Gray and I chose different colors from each other. I did the opposite. She did do the opposite. I did yellow, so she did violet because they're opposites on the color wheel. What kind of art did Keith Haring like to make again? Pop art. Pop art, right, and that means uh, art about popular things. So his art was graffiti, and he also um, made these cartoon stick figures doing all types of things and we chose to make our stick figure walking a dog today because a lot of people have been walking dogs a lot lately so hope you had fun creating with us until next time